I'm Matt Harper. I teach in the History Department here. I'm also the director of the African African American Studies program. In class, we've been studying the new two-party system of the 1830s, 40s, and 50s, which was a really exciting time in American politics where there's extremely high voter turnout, where election days were about games and chants and songs and um, lots of food and hard cider and a uh, really kind of rowdy, rambunctious time that drew in a lot of the American public. So instead of just reading about it, we wanted to come out and recreate an election. So here we are recreating the election of 1840. We've got the Democrat Party uh, um, trying to uh, elect William Van Buren. We've got the Whig Party trying to get in William Henry Harrison. Um, and so they're using original balloting, um, open uh, voice balloting, so people are publicly declaring their vote like they would have uh, in the 1840s. People are sharing hot cider and chanting songs and um, doing all kinds of games and activities that, that you would have seen at an election day in the 1840s. I hope it will make people understand some things about the way elections worked in the past and it brings up the question and everybody also, always sees Democrats and thinks it's the exact same party as it is today. But really, we're not dealing with the same issues at all. This is the Democrat Party and the Whig Party. And hopefully it'll, it makes the point that um, back then with elections held this way, we had 80% voter turnout compared to, I believe, 56% today. But also in the 1840s, you would have had only white men eligible to vote in most states. Um, and so that is women and people of color, even free black men, would not have had the right to vote in the 1840s in most places. Oh, a lot of changes now. Um, sort of now we have secret balloting, so no one can know where you vote. Here in the 1840s, your, em your employer or your landlord could be standing over you as you had to publicly declare your vote for a candidate. But then you have to consider that there was no secret ballot. It could be potentially dangerous if you, if somebody, you know, who was your employer that wanted you to vote one way found out that you voted another way. And so that kind of controlled a lot of people's vote back then. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword. So now we've got secret balloting. We restrict campaigning from the ballot box, whereas in the 1840s people were campaigning on top of the and around the ballot boxes that would take place. Oh, well, I just, um, I'm glad we've been getting a lot of public people from passers-by to join in, and I hope the students really just have a good time and enjoy it and sort of feel that they've spent a couple of minutes in the 1840s. So, I mean, if we can make it fun for people, maybe people will want to get out and vote. You know, tomorrow is, uh, well, tomorrow is election day, so maybe it'll get people in the spirit for the voting season.